if someone looking to tell their story, but they're feeling afraid because we are, no matter what background you come from, quieted in some aspect, whether people are telling you you're extra, <laughs> that your story is invalid. So what advice do you have for those who feel voiceless to kind of come out of their shells and really speak up? You got nothing to lose, really. We only have one life and that is the truth. You mm -hmm. know, This is just the one life that you have every day. You get up and you wake into it and you get to you know, either live your life fully, you know, or not. And, um, you know, it's just taking ownership of that and going with it. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I can really say. <laughs> yeah. And I want to know, so a lot of um, times I love getting new positive affirmations from people. So I'm wondering if you have two or three positive affirmations that you say to yourself when you're feeling doubtful or even just on a daily basis? Um, I don't know, not really. I yeah. think I'm always checking in with my gut, you know? Yeah. Is this truthful? Does this ring true to me? Am I, is it true? That's, that's a basic thing, you know, is this true? I'm always having that dialogue with myself and always asking myself, is this the best I can do? Am I being honest? Like that's slightly more difficult one. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier not to be, you know, or yeah. sometimes you, um, you know, find yourself in some sort of binary relationship with a situation where it's like, it's, you want to fight. And, you know, I think, I think I tell myself every day, um, one day I'm going to die. And how do I want, how do I want that to be for me? You know, it's, I, I literally always, every, on a regular basis, think if I were to die now, what would I do? Right. Would I be, you know, holding on to this, to something that's going to crumble? Would I be um, fighting with this person? what am I going to do? Yeah, literally. Um, when I go to bed at night, did I, if I died now, well, would I be happy? Because I had cancer um, about 10 years ago. It was a very great experience because there was a moment where I was kind of touch and go. I, I thought, okay, um, time's up, you know? And, um, and you know, it, it really is true that in that moment, you kind of look back on your life and you think, what have I, what has it been, you know? And I, 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 I generally felt I've had a great life, you know, but boy, there are things I wouldn't bother to do. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. it does give you a very, you know, I think that's it. What do you, what do you want your life to be now? I think that's a really important question to ask. And I love that you brought that to the table here because a lot of times we get caught up in the frustrations of the day or, you know, focusing on the immediate tasks at hand that we forget to look at the bigger picture, which is, am I having fun? Am I enjoying the work that I'm doing? Does what I am doing fulfill me? Does it add value in terms of my core beliefs and my fundamental values? And so being able to take a step back each night and say, what did I do this day to progress in my dreams and my goals and my life path, I think is so, so important. And thank you for, for bringing that to the table. It's my pleasure. And I want to know too, because you, you kind of mentioned as well, kind of going through that experience and having like you're going back and forth and it is life and death and you're, you're, you're kind of teetering here and you're thinking about that. What does that space feel like and how do you get real with yourself in that moment? Because that's something that's very difficult to do is to tell yourself the, the hard truth of I could be doing more in this area. So how did you actually do that? I think life hands that to you when you're in those situations. I don't think, I mean, I think maybe there are people who can avoid it. I'm not sure. 
Yeah. And at the end of the day, we're all human, you know? Yeah. We are all going to die. So it's just a question of when. I mean, not to be morbid, yeah. but it's the most, it's the most, um, it's the most, it makes you very honest. Mm -hmm. Because you, you're left thinking, okay, what's important here? And at the end of the day, what is important is integrity, honesty, like you said, enjoyment, um, truth, connection. Connection, I find, becomes very important. The relationships that you have with people, like how you connect with people, how you connect with the people who you care about and what, what you're prepared to fight for and what you're prepared to let go. Those things become crystal clear. But I think the thing about relationship is really important, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that is very sustaining. Mm -hmm. The relationships that we have with each other is what um, makes it worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. And part of what you do through film is create relationships from a character, from, you know, mm -hmm. this cast with the audience. And so what does that mean to you to be able to, you know, it's almost like a, it, I don't want to say responsibility, but it's, it's a really huge opportunity to not just share these stories, but to connect. Have you ever kind of looked at it in that way? And what do you enjoy about that kind of audience interaction and being able to display those narratives? Well, yeah, no, that there are a couple of things about that. Um, one is that First of all, storytelling, I feel, is a responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, it's like an ancient um, practice um, that has been handed on to us. Storytelling has always happened. You know, the elders have always told the stories of, of who we are. So who we are is passed on to us through stories, generation to generation to generation. And who we are is who we know we can be. So it's a very important responsibility, you know, and it, it's, it's as important to human beings as breathing. Like we have to tell stories. Like yeah. right now I'm telling you a story and you're telling me a story and we're communicating. That is storytelling. That is how essential it is. And we're changing each other's lives. We're building 